What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video and this video is going to be quite fun because um, I'm taking the liberty of playing a lot of Lars lately. This is a character I know a lot of people um, get very confused by and just find it very difficult to deal with. And he just got buffed so that's another thing that we have to you know deal with. So let's bring up the certain situations that we have to deal with. So then three into one. So before before we were able to sidestep this to the left, so like if we had blocked the mid, we could step to the left. Now this option is literally gone because they made it more plus, it's now plus 5 on block. So unfortunately we have to just deal with this now as it is. So our options are obviously power crush. Sabaki Luckily we can go for this parry which means that if they do um, so hold on a second so if they do the low here and I go for this parry I don't get counted launched so very fortunate for Leo to have this because it would then change uh, the options that the, the last player will then go for. So other situa other moves like uh, let's see. I need to remember to get out of range because this move has so much range. Okay, so let's do the launcher now. So how do we deal with this move? Step left. And then launch. Cool. Um, Alright, let's do the safe mid. Alright, let's take a look at this. Okay. So, parry again. So, you can't step it to the right. Can't step it to the left. Can't backswing. Can't use Kempo. So... This parry, I'm not gonna lie, is kinda goaded and it's very lucky that we have this. So, this is back 1 plus 3. And this parry will then make it possible for you to deal with some of the other situations as well. So, just doing a step left to avoid the launcher. And let's take a look at the other string that he has. So, okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so unfortunately, this move is unsteppable as well. So yeah, not not much we can do about this string here. Yeah, so this is basically free, but um, like I said, we have Power Crush. And we also have Heat Burst, so... Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, the fact that we don't get a launch off of the Heat Burst makes it not really viable to use here, in my opinion. So, a lot of the time you're gonna find yourself just holding back against Lars. I mean, the fact that he gets that for free is insanely cheap. Um, I wanna quickly just test Rage Art against that string quickly, because I know Lars has some silly situations. Um, and obviously I don't want you guys to get scammed. So let's see, so... Okay, okay. So... Alright, good. Alright, so we don't get scammed if we do Rage Art. So, in that scenario, Rage Art is, is kind of viable. But the thing is, when you have Rage, the Lars player is going to, like, probably notice that. And then they're just gonna go for the frame trap. So yeah, no Rage Art is allowed here. Uh, that is basically the reason for the, the the frame change on this move. So yeah, Rage Arts will not win in this situation anymore. Because like they said, uh, everything in that scenario was not in Lars' favour. <laughs> so yeah, interesting change. Um, let's look at uh, a situation that Lars players have been abusing a lot lately. So that is 2-1 into Orbital. So how do we deal with this situation? Downfall 1 is beat. 
Down for force B. Two jab is B. Down four is B. Okay, so generic low is an option, but um, if they block it, it's launch punishable. So it's a bit worrying. Uh, movement is an option. Um, QCF3 is an option. I feel like this option's kind of goaded, to be honest. You know, you get a full combo. To the wall. Big damage. So if you can uh, get comfortable uh, blocking and then going for a QCF3 and not getting a miss input. I mean, even if you do get a miss input, you know, you still get a combo regardless. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, big damage. Let me turn off Ridge. So yeah, a scenario that we need to stop really falling for, 2-1. Uh, we can also Sabaki the 2-1 as well. The thing that is so huge about this is, is like... They use this so much that you can make a read like this. Like you can, you genuinely can. So like, it's it's a it's a thing that they almost rely on to make comebacks. You know, to kind of uh, throw out there in a tournament scenario. So, if we know that and we see a two jab, we can kind of anticipate it being a two one. So just going for the sabaki, and obviously it's a safe sabaki. You know, if they freeze up after trying to be it. You can potentially get a county at launch as well. So. Can I not do some laws? Where is this? Alright, so there you go. There's the launch. Um, that's like the main thing I feel like they're getting away with at the moment. Uh, obviously, they have while standing free, uh, 2 free as well. So this scenario, there isn't too much counterplay to this, to be honest. Because what you need to understand, like, there's there's no punish. Unfortunately, no punish. Um, I guess the best thing you can do in this scenario is just, like, check them with, like, a down forward four. Let me just have a look and see if this doesn't function, like... One second. Okay, yeah, yeah. So a mid check is good in that scenario. Um, I know it's mid high, so you can duck it as well. But he has the mid mid uh, minus 12 move as well. But honestly, ducking is not a bad option, to be honest, because they kind of nerfed what while standing 2 1 does anyway. So this string here, like if I mash on this now, you know, he knocks me down and maybe gets uh, a guaranteed stomp or something. So it's not the end of the world. So yeah, uh, sometimes definitely try and duck the mid high and get a launch. Um, but yeah, other than that, most of Lars' other stuff is just like hand guessing 50-50 situations. Uh, I guess you can interrupt things like... Uh, so they might go for something like this into this. Or this into this. Which obviously you can interrupt. With a down forward one. But then the last player can start doing things like while standing four. In which case you obviously um You obviously can't down forward one shot this because he's a uh, minus one. While standing four comes out in 11 frames, so you know, jab works, magic four works. Dash up and get a stomp because you won't be able to get uh, you won't be able to get block in this scenario. So dash stomp is a good strat. Uh, and yeah, um, obviously going for a high is a risk as well because the low, especially if he's in heat, will trigger an animation and it does a lot of damage. So don't be afraid to just do the downfield one and let him do while standing four because you know the reward is whatever in it. Like he's just hit you with a poke. It's not the end of the world. It's a lot better than getting mixed up for no reason. So just bear that in mind. Um, 
other than that, uh, I would say general, generally, obviously it's good to explain what, what we can do generally against Lars. You want to step right to avoid FF1 plus 2. So where you can, you want to do like sidestep blocks and stuff. As you can see, it's whiffs there pretty easily. But yeah, you're, you're not going to step it every single time and obviously the cameraman has a seizure at times as well, clearly. But yeah, as you can see, it can realign as well because it's a dash input, so... Yeah, just be careful with uh, how you punish this. And other than that, uh, yeah, just, just sidestep block and kind of stay solid against Lars. Um, you want to be patient against him. He doesn't really have the scariest of moves, like... His lows are good, but they're kind of seeable sometimes. Like, not down back four, but like, you know, if they go for like a really slow hill sweep or something, which is quite common, to be honest. You know, you'll be able to get like a last frame block on this sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. And then obviously, you know, you get your you get your punish. So, yeah. Minus 31. I actually want to see if this works. Alright, it definitely doesn't. But yeah, calm. Uh, that's a... A few pointers against Lars. Um, obviously, he has the jump in attack as well, but like, that's just an odd move, man. Like, they use it in neutral, they use it in so many different scenarios, so it's hard to really tell you what to do against that move. Because I don't really know the, the, the perfect situations of when they go for it. So, my best advice is to just be as patient as you can in a lot of scenarios. In this game, a lot of characters have weird things where, like, if you run out of patience and then you retaliate with things that you think are safe, like jabs, you just get blown up for it. Like Devil Jin's uh, backswing blow in this game, that move in a clutch situation is so ridiculous because, like, if you do anything that is short range and fast, you basically just lose. Like, if I do a 1 2, if I do a 1 4, if I do a 2 1, all of this type of stuff, it will just lose to Devil Jin's backswing blow. So. Yeah, it's very, it's a very tricky thing, but you need to stay patient in them kind of scenarios. So again, it, it applies to a lot of characters as well. Like Lars's jump could be that that move that just messes you up because you committed to a string and stuff, so, or like you did a down forward one check. Or yeah, it's you have to be careful in this game. It's very explosive, and you never know when that backswing or evasive move is gonna come out and just basically mess us up. So yeah. Other than that, that's been a short video about Lars, uh, Leo versus Lars. Uh, yeah, I hope it helps you along your way and yeah, get the practice in and yeah, look forward to the next video.